World War II started in 1941, as, I, as everyone is aware of. And uh, uh, I was still going to high school, but at a later date, I received my draft papers. However, they allowed me to be able to finish uh, school, finish, graduate, which I did graduate in 1943. Thereafter, I was drafted into the service automatically because at the time I wore all of the uh, uh, the young men and, uh, you know, many men were drafted and so consequently we all went to the armed forces. The, one of the main things that, that occurred in, in my activities was that I was associated with a variety of, of, uh, of organizations. I became either members or was aware of these organizations and, and what the issues were that they were pursuing. All of them were active organizations very many in, in not only in the city of San Bernardino, but the surrounding areas. So that's when I felt that there was a need for a community paper that would reflect the positive things that were happening in the Mexican-American community. And so I made a, a decision to start a newspaper. I formed it with some very good people. I was able to, to get organized and, and develop a, a community paper which became the Inland Empire Hispanic News.